So, so fans, welcome, welcome to Screencast. Got a couple of extra special topics to go over today, some supreme creamy gayness! So let's get right into this shit. With easily one of the most unlikable bald fucking faggots I think I've ever seen in my life. You might remember him with his famous pose. Any idea who I'm talking about? Cory Booker. Cory fucking Booker. Yeah, Cory Booker. Yeah, man, Cory Booker. Yeah, dude. Cory Booker. Cory fucking Booker. Cory Booker. Cory Booker. Fucking Cory Booker, man. Yeah, that faggot Cory Booker. Cory Booker introduced uh, a Senate bill on slavery reparations. The cock faggot. Not paying it. I mean, shit. You are obviously a mixed breed mulatto baby. You're a complete mutt. You're more white than you are black, dude. Like... You're not gonna get shit out of me. And I hope your bill fails. I hope you get publicly humiliated. And I hope it burns when you pee. I hope you get publicly humiliated. I hope it burns when you pee. Introducing a bill that would study the possibility of reparations to descendants of slaves. So, you mean all of them? Every last nog in the project is going to say that they were. Like, you understand that, don't you? Who fucking shit, dude? They do that already. Beyond that, most whites already pay this in the United States. No, I know I pay it. It's called fucking taxes. I already pay reparations. Fucking taxes. Taxes that don't fix the roads, they don't provide necessary infrastructure, instead it pays for Section 8 food stamps for boys that shit up the inner city. Yeah, dude, no thanks. I'm not gonna pay additionally. Faggot Democratic mayor is like, what's his name? Fucking... Pete Buttigieg? <laughs> Buttigieg. 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 Oh, shit. So, a Democratic butt cowboy supports scrapping capital punishment and giving gibs to groids. Gay and typical. They even went as far to preach this shit at a fucking Al Sharpton conference. Stating that, you know... If passed, passed, it it would set up a commission commission to study the impact impact of slavery and continuing discrimination against against black Black Americans. Americans. (sighs) And make recommendations to reparation proposals for the descendants of slaves. (sighs) Okay, look. Here's the issue with all this. Okay. First off, this is only going to backfire. Blacks have more rights given to them by whites in the USA than in any other country in the Western world. In the USA, we have given blacks more rights more than they deserve, all of which they take for fucking granted. We ended slavery. We ended segregation. We, again, gave up our instinctive group preference to cater to blacks. And this kind of shit is why public schools are a fucking state-mandated failed experiment, if there ever was one. Especially urban schools. They're pounding this sense of perpetual victimhood into black children at a young age. They grow up being problematic in their adolescence, with a huge fucking chip on their shoulder. Uh, They're taught that their ancestors were slaves, and that their grandparents, or their great-grandparents, whichever, had to endure segregation. That their mothers had them with some... And I quote, broke-ass nigga who left her. So, all across the board, they're being brought up with inferiority complex. And they are socially engineered into thinking that white people crafted this whole thing, the entire system, just to keep them down. You want to believe white people? What do white liberal faggots that push this trash in the fucking public schools? It's with this shitty mindset that's bestowed upon them in infancy. You know, they grow up hostile. The pesky inferiority complex kicks in, and they refuse to adhere to most norms of authority. They listen to shitty trap house music 
you know, mumble rap that only reinforces this type of behavior. And it's because they defy authority with hostility, they commit crimes, and they get shot. Yet blacks all over the world wonder why. Whites is racist. Why is whites racist? It's because you have an average IQ of 80 and you are prone to chimp outs. You destroy property, you bring misery and strife to every neighborhood that you occupy. And you know why the grass is greener on the other side? Because you're not there fucking it up. White neighborhoods, on average, don't look nicer because of white supremacy. They look nicer because you don't live in them. You, you do not, not live in them. North Carolina, y'all know there's an uprising going on over there, and we are going. And you know what? One thing I can't stand about when these, you know, uprisings happen, you know, people want to call them riots and looting, but I call it uprisings, okay? When white people say, they get on my mother effing nerve. The first thing that white people like to say is, well, what's all that looting? Why are they looting? Why are they taking things and all that kind of stuff? You ain't seen looting until you see my black ass. I'm loot, bitch. That's how you think I got here in America. Forcing whites to pay reparations for shit that they weren't alive for is like the original sin fallacy. That's not going to open up a dialogue between blacks and whites in a constructive way. No, that's going to continue to build resentment. It's not going to stop blacks from acting like booms. It's not going to lower the drug use or gun-related crime. Like Chicago, Detroit, Baltimore, fucking Newark, where Cory Booker happens to be from. Fucking havens for black-related theft and gun crime. You are only going to push white people further away from your goal and your sentiment. You know, whites face more discrimination today than anyone. And the, the only, only people that are okay with this are the cucked-ass ethnomasticists. White guys who just want to kiss, kiss black ass. You're cut white guys. You're all faggots. And I hope that when the race war actually does kick off, you're the first ones to die. Bang your own shit. This premise that like, white supremacy is a thing and needs to be combated is completely antithetical to your sentiments. If blacks are equal to us, then why do they have that inferiority complex? The fact that you need white people to pay you for existing proves dead fast across the board that whites are superior now, doesn't it? Yeah, the recessive asses are a lot better than you. You're gonna run out of that give money when we're all gone. And then what? When you inherit 95% of North America, what are you gonna do? You're gonna blame Mexicans next? You guys might have one thing in common, one fucking thing in common, and that's, on average, you both have a lower standard of living. And you're not white. Beyond that, there's no unity between you. There's nothing that binds you for your greater cause. We don't need you, you need us. It's 2019, guys. It's current year. I shouldn't have to explain this stuff to you, but here I am. ADL, the NAACP, Planned Parenthood, Human Rights Campaign, uh, Color of Change, National Black Women's Reproductive Justice Agenda, I think that's how you say it, the National Coalition of Black Civic Participation, etc. These are all organizations that cater to you because somehow you're incapable of self-representation without some Jewish paid figureheads to do it for you. You're brought up thinking that you're somehow oppressed when you have all of these organizations and the most liberally owned Silicon Valley companies hiring you for a diversity quota despite your obvious lack of skill backing you up. Now your boy, Cory Booker, wants me to pay you for me not owning slaves and you not being rich. Fucking rich, man. Hey, Cory, I know you'll probably never see this, but if you do, email me. lsdscreamulator at gmail.com. Pay me reparations for having to make this video. Pay me for having to deal with the sheer idiocy you display, man. Holy fucking shit. How many groping scandals have you been caught up in exactly? Just one? I doubt it. Corey, you're not a smart guy, man. If you care so much about blacks, why didn't you donate a year's salary? Yeah, you're not gonna do that. You're a faggot ass talking head. You don't live up to what you say. Fuck. I know you thought you were a super mayor back in Newark, dude. 
New art continues to be a shithole. Obviously, you jerking off your own ego doesn't do much. So that leaves the question. What are we going to do about this bill? Well, again, I hope it fails. I hope you're publicly humiliated. I hope you go home crying that night. I hope you grope your intern and you get busted. And it burns when you pee. Because, dude, you are fucking insufferable. I'm not going to pay blacks for existing. I'm not going to pay them for not being slaves when I'm not a plantation owner. I'm not going to fucking do that. No sensible white American is going to do that, dude. It's not going to fucking happen. It's not going to happen. And again, you're going to make tensions even worse. If you're going to force me to pay blacks for existing, I'm only going to hate them more. And on average, I don't really hate anyone. I might not trust them, and I might severely dislike them. Hate's kind of a strong word, you know, and I've, I've already gone about how this premise that all white people are racist to a fault is stupid and false. Not about me, though. I never said I wasn't. And as a matter of fact, I wear that as a badge of honor because, if I'm being quite frank, morally, there's nothing wrong with racism. It's not even ideological. It's instinctive. It's instinctive. You want to be around people that look like you. Cory Booker might have an issue with that because he's a mud shirt being. He's mixed. He's more white than he is black, but he claims the black side of him. Every fucking mulatto I've ever met has always done that. They're half black. They look more white than they look black, but the black still shows. And they're, oh, I'm black, I'm half oppressed because I'm half black. Oh, half of my ancestors went through some shit, and the other half are the ones that did it. Oh, but I claim my black side because it means I get more woke points. I'm a fucking Indian. Feathers, not bats, or milk of I'm so fucking tired of this shit, dude. No, sorry, Cory Booker. Um, that's not how this is going to work. This isn't going to pass. And if it does, if it does, you are pushing everything on the cusp of absolute electric boogaloo, man. I mean, this might be an accelerationist wet dream. Because if you're wanting to force them to give up the Yang Bucks for reparations, you're going to have a bad time. I'm not a Yang Ganger, by the way. I just figured I'd throw that in. Yang Gangers, get at me. Or leave me the fuck alone for making the jab at you. I don't really care. I don't know, man. Cory Booker is a fucking Alright, uh, guys. Well, that's about all I got. Hit me up on YouTube. Hit me up on Instagram. Watch me on Vimeo, I guess. I'm out.